Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. What's going on? How you guys and girls doing? Today we're going to be making a linked list, a very simple version of a linked list, but one that you can build upon and probably we will build upon as we go. But um, this is the first part at least and we're going to be making a linked list with in an ability to insert at the end of the list and to get a element out of the list just to to print it out or whatever now a linked list I hope you watched my last video on data structures because I just explained a little shortly what a data structure is is basically just a bunch of data instead of being randomly assigned or randomly put everywhere it's structured in a way that we can get it from a certain point we can put it in in a certain way it's, it's rules basically now first thing you think of a data structure you think a struct basically yeah we can make a data structure using a class as well so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing this. We're going to write class linked list. And we're just going to make it just as regular private and public. Now, in the last video, I said we were going to use that online compiler, but I'm not because it kind of complicates things. And it's not as it's not that good because sometimes it can lose connection and stuff. But whatever, just make a new project just like I did here. I'll remove this because I just copy pasted that basically just to test the code and um, but whatever here we go uh, link list now if you haven't seen the uh, template class tutorial I recommend you to do that because we're gonna be making a template class basically what this is gonna do is it's gonna let us put any data we want any type of data we want in the linked list we can create several linked lists that can hold different types of data instead of making a bunch of these classes for certain types of data we make one class with a template so template type name t boom private and public we'll just say linked list and we'll say that we have our constructor here and we'll make we we'll make a link list destructor as well and to make the destructor you just put this little symbol here boom and we're good that's all we want to do and I said we're gonna have two functions we would have an insert end and we'll say t element uh, and this will insert an element and we want to get the element back so get at end index nothing too complicated and remember this t here stands for a generic data type once we create a linked list this t everywhere there's a t it will be replaced with whatever data we want so if I create a linked list for integers list one this is how I write it all right so all this will be in that tutorial for templates uh, but for now this is good right so we we did this kind of the shell now the complicated part is this we'll make another class as a private member of this class so you don't have to do this you can do this outside but I, I like to do it in here uh, if you're gonna reuse nodes you can do it outside if you want to create lots of different data structures but we're not gonna reuse it the class node nodes can only be, be created within this class link list so I can only make a node in here now because it's a private member basically of the link list uh, so I'll explain all of this number of nodes and and it will only have public thingies for now uh, so a node itself what is a node we'll draw well a node can be a we can imagine it as a little thing with some data in it and a pointer to its child now in our case this pointer will be null and then we'll add another one and its pointer will be null and so on this is how a linked list works it's basically just a bunch of stuff connected together with the nodes child pointer pointing to the next element and so on and it holds some data inside it now for us right now our list is completely empty that means there's no node even it's just empty it's just a null pointer so we just want to do that um, we want to say node next and want to say t data so that's basically a node and we're going to create some constructor for this 
that will take some data and it will take a next pointer and we'll just set this data to be data and this next to be next and we'll create a no sorry if I'm going a little fast here but I'll explain everything as we go on so delete this next so what's happening here we have a node all right one of our little circular things remember data and a little pointer to the next element and this is in our case a null pointer as we create a new node this is in how a new node looks it has some data and a null pointer and the reason for that is the the next here is going to be defaulting to null pointer so we can just put some data in a node because we don't want to set the next of a node that's going to happen when we insert something all right when we put something in the next pointer of a node will be a new node and so on and so on so you can kind of use the same class within itself i know it's a little confusing but just just remember that you can do this you're allowed to do this it's not a big deal uh, so and the root is basically the first node now the root in our constructor is a null pointer how do we check if in a linked list is empty well we check for the root if it's a null pointer it's empty if it's not there is something at the first root pointer uh, and then we can traverse it using the next pointers and so on now if you haven't watched the pointer tutorial either go ahead and do that maybe you'll understand a little more about pointers because this is data structures are really pointer heavy something you really want to be good at is pointers when you're working with data structures if you're going the course or if you're going something similar just go ahead and and remember that pointers are probably your best friend if you know pointers you can do just about anything including trees and all that stuff I talked about in the last video sorting algorithms as well all that stuff so yeah this root will be no pointer and this number of nodes will be zero at start because we don't have anything now a linked list will just delete this root now let me explain how this works if the whole list just deletes it, its root and every node takes care of deleting its child what happens is that we have a big list here all right now this is another reason why the null pointer at the end is really important because if you delete something that is a null pointer nothing happens if it's undefined you'll get a crash so just make sure all your ends of these nodes are null pointers but nevertheless if our list this is our list all right and it has a root this is the root it's gonna delete this root when the list is deleted so the root is a node and a node destructor knows to delete when when the node itself is deleted the next pointer of the node will be deleted as well so we'll delete this and this is a node as well so its next pointer will be deleted and its next pointer will be deleted and its next pointer will be deleted until we hit the null pointer which also will be deleted but nothing will happen and the whole list is deleted so it starts a chain reaction which is really cool this is what you want so that's basically it. this is a class class node nothing more than that we're all good um, we'll have a root and a number of nodes all right cool so we're pretty much done here the thing we want to do is when we want to insert at the end of the thingy of our list we want to first check if the uh, list is empty because if it is then we can't insert anything we just have to create a root this root equals null pointer null pointer that means that the list is empty all right and then list is empty create root so then we're going to say this root equals new now instead of element we'll say data here which is a little smarter new node with some data and remember we can just type in the data because we default defaulted the other parameter to null pointer so we'll just we all we have to do is insert the data in the constructor so that means we'll create a new node with some data here now if it's not empty what we do is we traverse to the end and we put some data there now how do you traverse in a linked list basically you you start off you make a temporary pointer you start off at root and you say the walker equals to 
whatever it's pointing to is next pointer. So then it will equal to this. And then the walker equals to whatever it's pointing to is next pointer, which equals to this. And we'll keep doing this until we hit a null pointer, which is the end. So then the walker will stop at this element here and it will access its next pointer and put a new node there. So that way, all we need is a node pointer walker equals this root because it starts at the start of our list. It starts at the root. Now we already checked that it's not empty, so that's good. Now this or while, sorry, while walker next is not equal null pointer. So while the, the next end here isn't reached, we'll keep traversing. So the way we traverse is, like I said, whoops, walker equals walker dot next. Because remember, walker is pointing to the root. Now walker will be equal to the root's next pointer access like this. And then we're at the next. Now the next situation will be that node's next pointer so we'll keep moving jumping from node to node and once we reach the null pointer it will stop so we'll be at a walker walker will be at the last node so all we have to do is walker dot next equals new node with some data in it boom and then null pointer and the next pointer of that node the last node now will be a null pointer as well because of the default. So there we go. We can insert a bunch of stuff. Now this should not crash. List one dot insert end ten. We'll insert a few things here. We'll insert one, two, and three, and we'll start this. We'll probably get a crash per usual. Uh, missing comma uh, whoops sorry should be uh, equal to not uh, the other operator so there we go there we go so the the problem was I didn't use the assignment operator I used the uh, comparison operator don't do that I'm dumb so just use this all right uh, you probably saw that way before I did but that's cool now we have elements in here that didn't crash the way to get an element out all right at an index because remember this isn't an array we just have to traverse stuff in order to get to a point and then get that data out we have to use the walker system again but when getting something we need to check for a few things we need to check first of all if the list is empty first or if it's if the index is out of bounds basically so how do we do that well when we insert something we want to make sure that we say this number of nodes plus plus so that we are making sure that we're increasing the number of nodes and we know how many nodes we actually have so we we know where the end is at basically and so and we know that the index can't step out of that or be less than zero so if this root equals null pointer then we'll throw uh, list is empty so this means that we throw because throwing means that we end the whole run. We don't, we don't, there's a big error, we end it, and we can catch that throw. Basically, we can get the string out and see what the error was. We're not going to catch it. We're just going to use throw to kind of end this execution because if it's empty and we're trying to get the index, uh, it's it's wrong. It shouldn't be, shouldn't be doing that. Uh, else, if this, or no, uh, index is less than zero because we can't index something it's less than zero or index is greater or equal to this number of nodes which is at the end there's nothing at the end end uh, so then we'll also throw index out of bounds so when, once we have these two errors out of the way we'll create a temporary data because remember we have to return a some data here I will return data. Now I wrote this in the wrong order, T data. All right, and in between here, we'll set this temporary data to something. Now, if, remember, we have two cases here. I think we have if the index is the first index, we'll just return the first node, or if the index is something else, 
we will return wherever the walker is. So if index equals zero, we'll say return or data, actually data equals this root data. All right, that's basically what we want to do. Um, else, let's see how we're going to do this. Else, yeah, we need a walker equals this root. So we'll start off at the root and we kind of have to move on traverse through that. So uh, here we're not going to use a other pointer. Uh, we're going to use, or we're not going to use a while loop. We're going to use a for loop. So how does that work? In some cases, you have to remember here, we're going to go through this later. You can't start at zero. You have to start at one or two, depending on where you want to end up at. Now, we'll go through that later. I won't explain that too much right now. Um, but for this case, when you want to get something out, zero is good. All right, you want to start at zero and you want to do this. This or walker equals walker next. And once you've reached less than index, we'll be at the correct position. So data equals walker data. Boom. Easy peasy. And we'll return the data. Not too difficult. Uh, and to check that out, we'll say std cout um, list one dot get at zero just to check that first one and we'll do one and two because zero should access the first element now this might crash nope we got one two and three i don't know if you can see that and uh, properties okay yeah one two and three all right and the errors if i write three here will get crash probably all right we'll get a crash boom see so you don't want to do that you just want to stay in bounds uh, and you'll be good so that's basically your linked list very simple version of a linked list the beautiful thing about a linked list is that if you want to get the first element you can do it if you want to get the last element you can do it really simply you don't have to basically you don't have to uh, iterate through a whole array and do that and another really good thing about the linked list is that if you have a bunch of nodes like this and you want to insert a new element somewhere what you do is you don't have to move all this other stuff to the right like in an array all you have to do is you have to kind of do this Imagine you want to put it here. So you're just going to do this. This node's new pointer is going to point, next pointer is going to kind of point to this new element now. And a temporary pointer is going to hold the rest of this data. And you can make the new node's next pointer point to that temporary pointer, which in turn points to this. So you'll kind of just insert it in the middle here without doing much work at all. Just a few lines of code and you can insert stuff wherever you want. So you don't have to kind of um, kind of worry about moving the whole array and reorganizing stuff. So just remember that. Um, so yeah, that's, that's basically why you want a linked list. And the more important things we're going to look at later, uh, once I do get to it and have the time, we'll work with inserting stuff in the middle, inserting stuff at the beginning, how you want to do that. That's really simple to do. It's not too too hard. Uh, and then um, deleting stuff as well. Deleting stuff and putting stuff in the middle. That's what we're going to work with. But for now, just I hope this is enough to explain the linked list and how the nodes work and how everything works. All right. So thanks for watching. Take care. And I'll see you guys in the next one. All right. Bye-bye.